61A lecture number five, announcements. The hog project is due next Thursday, but please turn it in next Wednesday to earn an early submission extra credit bonus point. In order to make sure you're on track to finish by Wednesday, checkpoint one is due on Monday night. Solve that part by yourself, submit it, and then you can start working with a partner on phases two and three. Right now you can't say who your partner is on OK because we're still in the phase one period, but you can go ahead and start working with a partner and then after Monday night we'll allow you to select who your partner is. And you can just submit one version of the project for both of you. Homework two will be posted today. It's due next Thursday as well. Homework one had problems that really pushed you to understand the concepts in the course and apply them in new ways and so it probably took you a little bit more time. Homework two is going to be shorter and more straightforward in its application of the ideas in the course so far. And it's there just to give you practice with the concepts that we've covered this week in lecture so that you're ready for midterm one, which is in 10 days on Monday the 16th in the evening. There will be no lecture that Monday because there will be an exam in the evening. Next week, we'll ask if anybody has conflicts with this time, but if you have a club event or something, you really do need to come take the midterm. If you have a course conflict, then we'll work something out. The last two weeks have covered a lot of new content, but next week is mostly going to involve examples and applications of what you've already learned so that you can get more and more familiar with the concepts and how to use them in order to build programs. So I do recommend that you continue to watch the lectures. Don't fall behind in lecture or life is hard, but next week will be a small break from piling on new information. We'll start that up again right after midterm one. Midterm one will be a mixture of you analyzing Python programs and figuring out what they do, drawing some environment diagrams, and implementing some functions. We have past exams if you want to take a look in the resources tab. Here's a big list of past exams, including a bunch of past midterm ones and video solutions about how to think about those problems and solve them. I'll say a bit more about how to prepare for exams in the future, but the best way to prepare right now is just to work on the homework and projects, make sure you understand them, and if you really want to push yourself to understand, try not to use the OK tests until you've convinced yourself that the program you wrote really works. If you get in the habit of testing yourself, understanding your own programs, and thinking through what they do on your own, then you'll be in a much better position when you're out there writing programs in the world or on an exam where there's no auto grader available to check your work for you. So there's nothing wrong with using OK, but don't use it over and over and over again just to try to figure out what the answer is. Instead, figure out what the answer is yourself and then use it to check your work at the end.